everybody. Welcome back to Stitching Big Things with Hallie. Thanks so much for returning. This is a floss tube about cross stitch. So, and I appreciate all of you, those of you who have uh, watched, liked, subscribed, commented. Um, it's been great getting to know all you guys and I really appreciate that. Let's get to the stitching. Not gonna be a very long one today. It's gonna be pretty quick. So first I need to tell you that I made a mistake last week. I think I talked about doing um, Jolly July and I was watching a lot of stuff this week and I found out Jolly July refers to when you make ornaments for July. So I guess I'm going to do some Jolly July and I'm going to do some Christmas in July. So Christmas in July is what I worked on this week. This little guy, Mick Christmas, um, is... Um, what I worked on this week, Carrie Dad Cross Stitch Designs is um, the group that puts this out. Uh, they're a they have Facebook group, um, and um, that's where you can purchase um, from them. So at least that's where I found them and where I purchased. There's quite a few of these little gnome type guys, and. I have a variety of them. This is the first one I've stitched though, so um, I have very much enjoyed him. So let's take a peek. I did, I did put this little uh, piece of cardboard behind him just because this is a pretty see-through material. I was hoping you'd be able to get a better vision of him. Um, this is a 28 count Venetian stone by Wilchet Imports. Um, I did get this material through uh, Fat Quarter Shop, and I'll be honest, it's not my favorite. Um, it's a little rough, it's really see-through, it's kind of stretchy, um, but honestly, it was the perfect color. It's a little bit greener in real life, like the kind of a deep green not bright green, deeper green, than it's showing here. It's showing more gray on the video, but um, certainly it's perfect for what I was wanting to do. So um, I'm doing this guy uh, two over two, and he has stitched up surprisingly fast. I put him in Pattern Keeper and knocked it out. I got just shy of 500 or 5,000 stitches on him um, this week, which... I have a lot of stitching time in a normal week, but this week was particularly a lot of stitching time. Um, as you guys know, I live in Texas, and because our COVID numbers have been rising, um, a lot of our kids' activities have been delayed or postponed or canceled, and so a lot of the running back and forth to school that I was doing for sporting activities and for um you know, preparations for um, next year's sporting events, all of that got canceled. So my kids got to sleep in, I got to have a lot of stitching time, <laughs> and it resulted in him, me uh, almost completing that hat. So that's been wonderful. That's not normal. Um, it, like I said, it just worked out that way, and with this particular pattern, it just all kind of came together. So. Yesterday, I uh, did not want to stitch on him anymore. I'd had enough. And so I thought, okay, what can I pull out and work on? You guys have seen this gal. You're going to see her for a little while longer. This is Royal Games 2 uh, by, um, it's a Mirabilia design uh, by Nora Corbett. Um, this is one of my WIPGO projects for June. I had been staying up to date really until... Uh, June um, with getting things done and completing them within the month. Unfortunately, this one has drug over a little bit. That's okay. We're going to keep working on her. We're going to get her knocked out. I am doing, for my whip go, my goal was one lady, so half the project, and I'm working away at her. So things I added in this week, I finished up all of her skin. I added in, uh, these are, you can't really see they're not coming across very well. Obviously the gold is shiny, but this red is is uh, shiny as well. Um, it's acrylic. And so I, I got all that put in, all the red. I finished her arm, her skin and her arm. All this had white stitches that need to go in it, in her uh, sleeve. And I did get that done as well. 
um, red chronic is going to go here so that's going to be the next piece that I pick up um, and just slowly keep working on her back stitch is going to obviously bring out her face and all those little pieces you can see where in between she doesn't have anything yet those are all going to be beads so she's going to just going to be gorgeous and this is an opalescent fabric you can see it a little bit there um and so she is totally going to be sparkly um and really really gorgeous so um and this goes super fast um like i said i think it's 18 count 18 count wide opal two over one so you know after doing some linen work you can just zip right through her so that's all I did for stitching this week. So, uh, but I did get a lot done, but number of projects, smaller. I did get a couple patterns this week. Um, I did get a lady named Ella. And I'll read this to you. It's a charity collaboration between fashion designer Ebony Short and cross-stitch designer Brittany Church of Ingleside Imaginarium. So, I had seen this um, on some people's floss tubes um, who were um, joining the inclusivity uh, stitch along that was happening um, and I loved her and I needed to find her and have her in my life and she will be stitched fairly quickly and put up on my walls. I, it, BNC ladies, uh, I love them. They're great. Um, so I started searching to figure out where I could find her. I'm gonna help you out, you guys. Brittany has a blog, and that is where you can find this beautiful gal. Um, what you do is you go on her blog, I'll put it down below so you can find it. Um, and in there, she, you can go on there. She has three charities with which you can donate to, so all it needs is a donation, and uh, of a minimum of $5, and you donate to the charity she has all the links set up you take a snapshot of your receipt um and you email it to her her email is in the blog it's super simple um, and within a day or two Brittany sends you this lovely pdf uh in your email so just so you know you do get the full lady charted she wanted to show us and let us see kind of how things were going to starting to stitch up. Um, so she gave us a quick snapshot um, of her starting the project. But you do get the full lady um, and she will just be gorgeous. So I'm going to work at finding just the right fabric so she just jumps off of the, um, out of the picture at you um, once I get her stitched up. So hopefully you can find that if you can't. Let me know. I'll be. I'll try to direct you as best I can. But um, you're helping. You're doing good things. You're donating to charities, and you also get a beautiful lady. Another gift. It's well, a, a gift I came across. Um, this is uh, the Cross Stitch uh, Studio. They are a um, group that does full coverage cross stitch. And on the 4th of July, they were offering this beautiful chart for free. So I am a member of their Facebook group. I happened to see it and my fingers couldn't get uh, to their website fast enough to download it and get it for free. So this is Pledge of Allegiance in script. You can also go on their website. I went on and checked today before I came on. You can get this chart um, in block letters. So um you can choose whichever way you like um 700 by 420 only 18 dmc colors so it's 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 a big girl but she doesn't have a whole lot of colors so um it's 15 dollars currently uh, is what i saw today for both uh charts and they do have a coupon code uh, when you go on that if you buy more, you can insert that little code and get a discount. So if that's something that interests you, I'll put the information down below and you'll be good to go. Those were the charts I got. Uh, I am a member of quite a few clubs. So I do a Floss Club of the Month. This one is a Weeks Dye Works Floss Frenzy Club. This is put out by Fat Quarter Shop. And they have gone through and kind of, 
combined different colorways together. And so this one's the teal colorway. Um, and they send you six flosses. Um, it's, you know, every month you never know what color you're getting. But it's been really nice and really helpful. I'm not very good if I need to change a color or if I'm out of a color or if I want to substitute a color. This has been very helpful because it gives me a range of colors for me to look at and, and be able to choose and narrow down. Um, so this is fun. Um, so this one, Weeks That Works. And like I said, Fat Quarter Shop, you can go on their website and you can join their club. Super simple. Um, I am a member. Um, I purchase um, the from Crazy Annie Stitching, I go on and have joined their Fabric Club of the Month. It is a PTP fabric that you get once a month. Um, they have neutrals and uh, colors. I do both. You can choose size. You can choose what type you like. I get a 28 count Lugana. Get a fat half. Um, this one happens to be Nocturne. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have already had some of this in my stash. In fact, that's what I stitched Bendy Stitchies um, design on last week that you saw. Um, but who can't have enough of this? If you love Halloween like I love Halloween or um, anything with, you know, some white in it, this is it's just going to pop right off that. And so that's I'm thrilled that I have some more of that. This one is a color I had not did not know about, so I'm just super happy to see this. This one is Dumboiselle. Um, 28 count, again, about half. Here is this beauty. As you can see, light blue. It's got a lot of pinks. It's got some yellows in it. A little bit of purpley. It's kind of hard to really get a good picture. Probably over here in the corner you're getting the best, the best color. But it's really soft. It's going to go wonderful on a number of things. Um, so I'm really happy to have that one as well. And like I said, you can go crazy any stitching. I don't know that they've gotten for next year lined. I've not seen anything for next year yet. Um, but continue checking their Facebook group. You can join their Facebook group. Um, and that's certainly the easiest way to uh, keep abreast of what they're doing. I have a bag problem, you guys, you know that. This is my bag of the month for July from Garen Toten Bags. Absolutely love this bag. It came on July 3rd, um, it got me in the mood for the 4th. I mean, how do you, how do you just not absolutely love that with the flags and the eagles? It does get better, let me show you. Inside fireworks Ronnie and Gary you guys knocked it out of the park uh, on this bag I, I cannot speak highly enough of this bag the quality is great they do give you a uh, since it's not see-through a lot of people like to know what's in there they do give you a little tag where you can put all your information on there um, to keep track of what's in your bag they do have a new website um, that they're getting up and going and um, I'll link that below as I get more information um, and um, that's where they're going to do their bag sales. Okay, so that's what I got for haul this week. Plans for next week. I'm gonna continue with Christmas in July and we're gonna work on this beauty. Sorry, I can't seem to get him just right. Uh, this is a, this is Forest Spirit Santa. Absolutely adore him from Charting Creations. I um, think he's absolutely great. So I'm gonna do him on 25 count, easy grade one over one. Guys, please have no expectations <laughs> based on last week. Um, I took a look, I'm going to start up here in this corner, and I took a look at this guy, and holy cow, the first number of pages is all confetti. So there's not two stitches that are the same together. I do like to do cross country. I do like to go, not necessarily by page, but by how much area I have on my um, Q-snap. And so I'll continue to do that. So I will kind of, not necessarily color complete, but I will work by color and, and put in all the stitches 
that are necessary. So um, it, it will not come together quite as quickly as Christmas did, but I'm going to work hard on it and get a good start. I, like I said, 25 count easy grid, one over one. So this should be super fun. Okay, guys, well, that about does it. It's been pretty quick this week. Um, again, I want to thank everybody who has uh, checked me out, liked, commented. Um, if you are interested in coming back again and seeing next week how far I get on, on Forest Spirit Santa, please do. Uh, click subscribe and click that little bell so you get notifications when um, a new video comes up. I'm trying to do every Friday. That seems to work fairly well with my family schedule. Um, and I like getting the whole week in there to give you some results. So, okay. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up from here. Thanks so much. And uh, don't forget, keep stitching those big things. See you later. Bye.